Welcome back to another episode in this series as we try build a flight sim in Minecraft. Last time, we built up our wireless receivers for the machine, since we realized we wouldn't be able to use traditional data lines to transfer all the data to the screen due to lag. This time, we'll work to attach the receivers to the machine we built in the previous episodes, so that by the end of it, we should have a standalone display with receivers attached that would allow us to send wireless video data to it from anywhere in the world. The first thing we'll have to do is rebuild all these connectors. Initially, I built them to connect down these rail buses, but the receivers have slightly different spacing than I planned for. Plus, I'm actually not so convinced that Rails instant wire is the best option for us here. So first things first, let's figure out the mechanism we'll use to connect the receivers to the machine. We have a few options. As I mentioned, Rails are one. Um, obviously, Redstone wire is another one, but that's unlikely to be the best option since it's so laggy. I also want to experiment a bit with instant piston lines. Here there's two options. I want to test lines that use slime blocks so we have less pistons, and then compare that to just sticky pistons with redstone blocks. Alright, let's do some testing. So here's the first comparison. I've set up buses for all the data lines we need, so 15 by 7 is 105 lines, and I'm going to pulse them regularly to simulate our data transfer rates. And to keep the tests as fair as possible, I'll use the same activation mechanism for all the tests, which is just flashing redstone blocks at the input layer. Here's what redstone wire looks like. As expected, pretty bad. Now let's compare that to Rails. Okay, so obviously Rails is much less laggy. Okay, next we'll test two different sticky piston setups. One where we just alternate piston and redstone blocks and the other where we fill as much of the line with slime blocks to minimize pistons and observers, and we'll see which is better. First, let's test the slime blocks. So I feel like this one is actually less laggy than the rails. At least the spikes are lower and my game feels less choppy. But I'm getting these occasional big lag spikes, which are kind of annoying. Okay, final test, just pistons, redstone blocks, and observers. This one actually feels the best out of all of them so far. The game feels less laggy than the rails because the spikes are lower, and I'm not getting those occasional spikes that I get with slime blocks. Okay, that wasn't a thorough performance test by any means, but at least on my system, it seems like pistons without slime blocks is the way to go, at least for this application. So now that we've got that figured out, let's get to building the adapters. Here we go. There, adapters are all built and attached to the screen, and I went ahead and attached the receivers as well. I made sure that the distance from where the player will be to the receivers is far enough away to prevent any locational interference like we saw in the last episode. So now, if we've done all this right, we should be able to start up the machine and get our repeating pattern that we had on the command block screen last time. Let's see what happens. Nice, there's the pattern. Although, it seems to be having quite a bit of interference. Hmm, that doesn't look too good. I think this is due to phase shifts that are happening. I'll bet it's the TNT dispensers. Um, let me fix that quick. Okay, I added dispensers here, so now all the TNT dispensers don't do a phase shift. So I have to dispense items in groups of four so that these two get me to a multiple of four. Let's try that again. Okay, at first it's good, but then it seems to get disrupted. It seems a little better than last time, but still not great. Mm -hmm. Okay, two things. First, I forgot to add phase shifters for these droppers, so I added some. And I also noticed that when I dispense into minecarts, I don't get the phase shift, so I added them for all the crafters here. 
But then additionally, I noticed that sometimes when you drop an item through the air, it can still disrupt the pattern. It's not a phase shift that it does, but it disrupts it occasionally and not all the time. So you can see that here. When I have all the receivers stacked up and I'm dispensing through the air in multiples of four, most of the time the screen is good, but sometimes it gets disrupted. But if I put mine carts here and then run it again, then no disruptions. So for the machine, I put mine carts where I could, but I can't place them everywhere because they repel each other and then they don't feed the items straight down. So I need a couple of gaps here. So that means the machine is still vulnerable to some interference. All right, let's see how it looks now. Okay, that is much better. I see predominantly two colors, so if I do a phase shift by dispensing an item into my inventory, then it should switch to the other colors. Okay, yeah, that seems to be working. But yeah, there's still interference, especially on like these two rows. I wonder what I can come up with. Maybe I can come up with something better. Okay, I think it's mostly these two levels causing it. I can't add minecarts at all here because the TNT just destroys them. So that's annoying. I wonder if I can completely rework this section somehow. I think I have an idea. Let me try mock something up. Okay, I think this could work, but it will require like a major rework of the timings. So I think I can funnel the items directly down using snow, boats, leads, and minecarts. If I rig up something like this, it should allow me to put hopper minecarts low enough that the items get sucked out into the hoppers, but not so low that they get blown up by the TNT. So next episode, we're gonna attempt to get this wireless stuff finalized and work out all the interference. And then we'll start work on the transmitters so that we can transmit actual data to the screen. And that should get us pretty close to a working prototype. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys soon.